All right, good morning. Welcome to the 2021-2022 Honor Council Assembly. Uh, we are here today to talk about something very important in the North Cross School community, our Honor Code. Later in this assembly, I will be introducing this year's Honor Council. These students will be serving our school by contributing to Honor Assemblies and activities, discussing difficult topics, like what happens if a student discusses a quiz with another student, and by coming to school an hour and a half early to have a meeting when an honor offense has potentially been committed. These students have a very big job, and, but I know that they are up to the task. The North Cross Honor Code is, I will not lie, I will not cheat, I will not steal. So honor is about doing all of these things. It is about doing what is right, even when it is hard. It is also about helping others to learn what is right and wrong and being part of a responsible for our community. Helping to be an honest person is a major component of our commitment to the character here at North Cross School. Our honor code helps this school be a place where you can trust your friends, classmates, and teachers, a place where you don't worry to have about having your things taken, a place where you have the ability to learn and have fun. By following the honor code, you too can be an honorable person. If you have any questions about the North Cross Honor Code, you're welcome to ask me, your classroom teacher, Mr. Lamas, Mrs. Kyer, or Mr. Balderas at any time. I want to thank everyone for their attention and for listening closely today. I would now like to introduce Connor Irwin, the chair of the 2021-22 20, North Cross Honor Council. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I have a cold, so if my voice sounds a little bit weird, that's why. So what comes to mind when we think of honor? For me, I think of Martin Luther King Jr. With the dignity, dignity, courage, and honor, led the civil rights movement and became a national hero against oppression and tyranny. While I'm certainly no Martin Luther King Jr., I do have my own thoughts on what honor is. By definition, it is that we will not lie, cheat, or steal. But here at North Cross, it represents so much more. At a fundamental level, honor prevents us from cutting corners. When we don't cheat or steal his work, we become more engaged in the classroom and what we learn. For example, if we use a translator to write a paper in Spanish class, we don't really learn anything and we won't be prepared for the next assignment. However, if we choose to do this assignment honorably, we will learn and immerse ourselves in the course. As for lying, we gain respect from our peers when we don't lie and own up to our mistakes. And in the long run, if we lose respect and even care relationships in our lives eventually do catch up to us. Any short-term gains acquired from cutting corners are completely nullified and outweighed by the consequences that follow. This code we follow is more than just a set of rules. They are values. And we hold these values self-evident not because we are simply told to, but because they are basic principles which we, follow, which we can follow and to enrich ourselves as individuals and as a community. But most importantly, honor prepares us for what lies ahead in life. While the risk of getting caught cheating in high school might seem low, in college, there are no second chances. Cheating in a university is met with expulsion and notes in your academic record, making it much more difficult to get into another university. But even after university, once we all pursue careers, there will be no more cheating on assignments, stealing others' work to benefit your own, or lying your way out of a situation. If we are caught cheating on our job, it leads to dismissal and significant damage to our rep professional reputation, making it difficult to secure other jobs. If all we do is cut corners, we won't be prepared for what lies ahead of us in life. But when we learn how to be honorable in the classroom, we learn how to prosper in the face of adversity later in our lives. The consequences of cheating and being dishonorable are much worse than simply getting caught. You're shortchanging your future ability in life. This honorable conduct leads to an erosion of trust and confidence, and nobody wants to be correlated with a cheater or a liar, but being honorable sets an example to, and inspires others to do the same. As Martin Luther King Jr. once said, the time is always right to do what is right. So from here on out, I challenge everyone here, not to try, but to do their best in an honorable fashion. It's not just for today, it's for our future selves. And this is why we call it Honor Code.
I would now like to introduce this year's Honor Council. Per tradition, they will come up and sign our Honor Council book. So when I call your name, Honor Council members, please come up on my right and then we'll sign and exit on my left. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask on this. All right. First, we'll have our chair, Connor Irwin. Representing the 12th grade, Phoebe Anderson. Diana Anderson Price. And Isabel Blackshaw. Representing the 11th grade, Nathan Carey. Zach Morgan. And Sally Terra. Representing the 10th grade, Attilia Jacozzi. Here we have it. Paul Schuller. Ned Talon. Representing the ninth grade, Tyler Bluefield.
the faculty representatives, I will first sign as the advisor to the Honor Council. Then Mr. Brandon. And Miss Phillips. And while they do not need to sign the books as they're not voting members of the Honor Council, I would like to thank Mr. Balderas for helping to lead and Mrs. Jackson for being the faculty advisor to the students at each of the meetings. Dr. Proctor, did you want to say any words before we close out? All right, I would like to thank everyone again for attending this year's honor assembly. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.